Tell us about those tweets. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people who are interested in Ken Lyon um, and who know me would say that 2016, 2017 um, was a year full of challenge for both of us. Uh, and that's because I was quite, I was very disappointed about the lack of um, ethnic diversity at Cannes last year. And so I use my social media following to create awareness on this issue. And so there have been a number of tweets that I've put out that challenge Canline about some of the decisions that they might make about the ethnicity um, mix of the speaker lineup, the presidents or the juries. And those tweets generate media interest and that becomes a story and in some cases it becomes a huge story. And I was out for dinner last night with um, Duncan Painter who is the chief executive of Essential, the holding company that owns Can Lines. And I was nervous about seeing him because I know that I've antagonized the Canline leadership over the course of the last 12 months. And he gave me some incredible, incredible stats. Essential, the gender diversity of Essential is the greatest, has the greatest numbers of female leadership on the London Stock Exchange. So he is a man who has diversity, gender diversity, cascading through his organization at all levels. And he said to me, he said, Jonathan, when I started to see this debate, I realized that my definition of diversity wasn't as broad as it needs to be. And so I, and he says, so I thank you that you're challenging us. And I thank you that you're helping organizations like me who pride themselves in diversity, becoming aware that there is a much, much greater opportunity to structure management teams, leadership teams, and boards with a much broader definition of diversity. And I'm really, really grateful that, that you know, he's the most senior, influential person here. And that was his response. So small tweets create big news stories. And I genuinely think he's cre are creating um, sustainable change.